Welcome to this video about 30mm versus 50mm prime lenses. A 50mm lens is a standard lens because it roughly matches the field of view of the human eye, but only if you have a full frame camera like the Canon 5D Mark III. On a full frame camera, the lens is neither wide angle nor telephoto. Because of this, it is suitable to take pictures of one person but also groups of people. So you don't have to change lenses in all situations, but simply can use this lens most of the time. And very important as well, 50mm prime lenses are much cheaper in manufacturing than other zoom ranges. But most people have a crop sensor camera like a Canon 7D, 70D, 750D, 1200D. Because the sensor is smaller, on those cameras will the picture be much more zoomed in. Because of this, it gets very hard to take pictures of several people or a room you will always have the feeling that you have to step back. It is only good for taking portrait pictures, but it is not a standard zoom lens anymore. In this case you have to get a lens with 30 or 35 mm. Canon cameras have a crop factor of 1.6. 30 times 1.6 is 48, so it comes close to 50 mm on a full frame camera, even though there are still other differences which I will not get into now. 30mm lenses are more expensive than 50mm lenses, but on a crop sensor camera it is definitely worth it because you are much more flexible with it. In my opinion the currently best offer is a Sigma 30mm f1.4. On a full frame camera 30mm is very wide, so it isn't perfect anymore for portrait pictures. So before buying a 30mm lens for a full frame camera, you should really be sure that you have a use for that zoom range. I hope this video was helpful for you to choose between a 30mm and 50mm prime lens. See you next time.